Congratulations, you're halfway there. So I had to break this course into two courses, um, mostly because if, if I made this course like 14 or 15 weeks long, you'd drop out and then you'd be all bummed. So we have kind of this moment in the middle where if you need to take a break, you're fine. It's like in a video game where you're going through and then you pass a point and then when you have a problem after that, you come back to that point. This is one of those points, right? So you, if you have problems going forward, you don't have to come all the way back and do this. What we've covered so far is what we call control flow, right? It's like programs do this, then they do this, then they have an if statement, and then they have a little loop and they go round and round, and then they do this other thing and they read some stuff and they do some stuff. The, the, the whole thing of, that's a sequence, it's steps, control flow, what the program is going to do next, and then what's it gonna do next, and what's it gonna do next. And so that's what we talk, we talk like assignments, we talk if statements and for statements, and those kinds of things, right? So that's a very much, we've learned how Python navigates through your program and finds its way through the various steps that you've asked it to do. But that's only half of programming. What the next thing that you're gonna learn is about variables and how you can put four in a variable and you can add two to it and then it becomes six. But there's much more that variables can do. And it turns out that and we call this data structures. That's what we computer scientists call this, is data structures. Um, it, it turns out in your program, it may not think it may not seem like it, but we spend uh, we can solve problems in a way far more easily with clever data structures than when cle with clever control flow. Control flow is kind of obvious, and data tr structures are subtle. So by making clever data structures, your control flow is simplified, if that makes any sense. Of course, you haven't done it yet. And so that's why data structures is important. So that's why you shouldn't stop now. That's why you're halfway through. But again, if you need to take a little time off, you can take a break, but come back and finish the next, the next class data structures because that's the two pieces. Algorithms, control flow, and data structures are the two pieces of programming that give you the whole picture. So hope to see you in the next class.